Hey everybody, I'm Alex Seropian. I'm here at Industrial Toys World Headquarters. And welcome to our first Let's Play video for Midnight Star Renegade, which is our brand new first person shooter for mobile. Um, it is our second iOS game. And it's totally designed for mobile and touch. What does that mean? Well, um, it means we've designed uh, all the inputs for the game uh, to use the touch screen with native gestures, native inputs. Um, it's pretty cool. So what, I'm just going to jump in a level and show you how uh, how the game works. Okay, well now we're popped into a level. Um, the first thing I'll show you is how you run around in the game. Uh, that's usually the first question I get is how does movement work? And we try to keep it super simple. Um, in fact, you just swipe your finger to move. I swipe uh, right, I swipe left. That's uh, where my character goes. I can go forward, I can go backwards. Um, actually, I'm wearing a pair of jump boots right now, which is why I'm jumping around, and uh, I can even chain those movements around to get extra height, which is kind of cool. Um, so that's the first bit is movement, super simple. Um, touching is just wherever you put your finger down, that's where your gun's going to shoot. Your finger is, in fact, the trigger, um, and you can target uh, enemies uh, just by pinching to zoom, and, and it's kind of like you would on a, on a photograph. You see, if you just slowly zoom in there, you're going to target a guy. And targeting is cool because as you move around, they'll stay targeted. If they're running around, they'll stay targeted so you can keep them in the scene um, while you try to pull off your shots. The other thing that targeting does is it exposes a weak spot so you can see the circle around that guy's head. Um, I can do extra damage if I shoot in that area and pull off headshots and that kind of thing. So that's how the targeting works. Um, I also have these camera controls so you see the buttons on the side of the screen. Um, that lets me turn my camera uh, independently of what I have targeted. And in fact, they will light up and let you know when there's um, other uh, enemies that might be trying to shoot you. They're flashing red. That means they were trying to get you. Um, and I can use the, the movement to dodge. Like, I shooting at me, I can dodge. Uh, and I also have this grenade button down here. Let's move the grenades. I have an awesome cluster grenade right there. So when it explodes, uh, little shards of grenade go flying and, and they kill everything around, which is awesome. Um, and we've tried to keep the levels relatively short um, to fit with, you know, the way people use their phone. You know, I take my phone out of my pocket probably 50 times a day, and I never know what I'm going to do. But if I have something I can jump into, play for a couple minutes, get some loot, uh, that's the kind of experience that we, uh, we wanted to get to with this game. Well, that's the basics of playing the Night Star Renegade. Uh, the levels uh, take place in, a, in our campaign. There's 150 different levels in the campaign. And it tells the story of uh, our first contact with the uh, race of aliens. It doesn't go so well. No spoilers. Um, but uh, there's quite a bit more going on in the game. Uh, there's a whole um, customization layer where you can build up your character, build weapons uh, and your armor and all that kind of stuff. So there's a crafting system uh, for your gear. There's a whole multiplayer mode where um, you can participate in events and play with other uh, players in the community. I'll uh, cover all that stuff in um, future videos. So thanks for watching this one and see you soon.